Hi, welcome back uh, to my channel. So this is just a quick video to talk about uh, this uh, little amplifier from China. Uh, I already discussed uh, this amplifier in quite some details in episode uh, uh, 42. Uh, I did some measurements, and, you know, I generally presented this amplifier, which is sold as a 2 watts amplifier. And the amplifier, by the way, is this, uh, is this one here. Um, so let me zoom out a bit, yes. It uh, cost, uh, well, I think I paid slightly more, around 10 euros. Now it cost 8.43, uh, uh, shipping included. And uh, as you can see, it's an amplifier from one megahertz to one gigahertz, about 30 dBm. And in my previous video, I showed that, uh, yeah, it, uh, it worked as, as advertised, but unfortunately, uh, it's not very linear. So above the 20 dBm, which means 100 milliwatts, it starts to be very nonlinear, uh, as you can see here towards the end of my episode 42. And uh, another problem that I discussed at the time was that, uh, yeah, it gets very, very warm. So this heat sink is too little. And yeah, I have to report, unfortunately, that uh, today after I was experimenting with it, and after about 15 minutes of tests, uh, you know, I was transmitting in a dummy load, basically, uh, this amplifier failed. So the reason I'm pretty sure is uh, it, uh, the overheating. So it was basically crazy hot and uh, yeah, it just uh, stopped working. Now, if I connected it to the power, it just draws uh, 100 million per, but it does nothing, unfortunately. So yeah, all in all, I think, you know, if you want to buy this amplifier, well, keep in mind that it's not linear, which could be okay, for example, if you just want to do Morse code, that's, that's fine. But if you want to do, you know, voice, for example, this is not good at all. And, and also keep in mind that you probably need uh, to change the heat sink because the, the heat sink provided here is just uh, not sufficient, not sufficient for more than I would say five minutes of maybe 10 of work, but that's uh, already a little bit of a stretch. So yeah, it costs very little, so I don't want to discourage you from buying it and, you know, for some very little project, but, you know, it failed after very few hours of use and, uh, yeah, I'm not very happy about it. So I, all in all, I, I do not recommend this, uh, this amplifier, which, by the way, is, uh, I don't know if I can zoom here. Well, let me actually show you on the browser. It's uh, the model uh, N... W uh, DZRFPA version 2.0, as you can read here. Okay, so that's uh, that's all for this video, and uh, I will have to find another chip solution to amplify the, the um, my Yakarf uh, SDR. So this was my first candidate, but uh, yeah, I, I absolutely need to find something with a bigger heatsink. I'll keep you updated. Um, okay, bye bye. I'll see you next time.